We're continuing our series where we look at places that people who play Elden Ring may not know exist. The location I'm going to show you today is one that you just would not know exists unless somebody showed it to you, you've already seen a video, or you've looked up some sort of guide. It's not marked at all unless you're on multiplayer mode and you notice some very specific bloodstains on a particular tree branch in the middle of Caleb. It also holds one of the talismans that if you're ever going to go rune farming, you need it. Do let me know down in the comments if you already knew about this location and if there are any other secret locations that you want me to check out, do let me know as well. But enough of me talking about it, let me just show you exactly what I mean. The side of grace that we want to start from is the smoldering wall in Caelid. If you haven't got this side of grace already, it is on the main roadway through Caelid, so just follow it along from Limgrave and you should find it easily enough. From the side of grace then, we just want to keep the tower on our left hand side and we want to run dead straight towards that minor air tree. If you take this exact path, you'll be able to avoid most of the enemies in this area, but there's only a couple of these big dogs and one of those abductor yokes. Also, as a side note, if you haven't subscribed already, maybe think about doing so as we're nearly at a thousand subs. Another thing to note as well is if you have any preserving boluses, that is something that you want to hold on to when you're in this dungeon because it is Scarlet Rock Central. We're essentially just keeping this direct straight path towards the edge of the cliff, keeping the tip of the minor air tree just in vision as you reach the edge of the cliff face. And as we reach the edge of the cliff face, we can see the entrance to the dungeon just down here. So you're probably asking yourself, how do you actually get to that point? Well, you're just gonna go a little bit further down the rock face and then you'll be able to see a clear path where you can take turned and go across the tree branches. So just drop down the edge here and stay as far away from that thing as possible and then we're just going to shoot for the branches because it's pretty safe once we're out there. Like I said, super safe once you're out on the branches. It'll just take a bit of parkour to get across the branches themselves, but you can see that's the cliff that we were on before and this is the dungeon that we're trying to find. If you've made it this far through the video, maybe it deserves a like. Maybe. But as I mentioned before, this dungeon is filled to the brim with Scarlet Rot, so it is quite handy to have a couple of preserving boluses handy. There's also a bit of poison in the mix here as well, but I do find that the Scarlet Rot is definitely the biggest problem out of everything. But for completeness sake, if you have something to counteract the poison, it's always handy to have it active. And as well as that, I always turn on my lanterns when I'm going into these dungeons so that I'm not flicking between the actual torch and anything else that I need as a light source. It's a relatively short dungeon, all things considered, so I just thought I'd run through where all the little items are and what the boss fight will be at the end in case you're interested. I'll speed this part up and I'll come back to you guys at the very end. told you i'd be back thank you so much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it again if this is somewhere that you've never been before let me know down in the comments just as much as i want to know if you had already been here because it's always the people who have already been to these places that feel the need to very much tell me anyway i hope you enjoyed it and until the next one i'll talk to you later